we're at the first Tesla's Urban Superchargers. Look at that. They're tiny. There's a lot of people here too. Holy crap. All X's. So we've got uh, 10 stalls here. This is one of the two current only Urban Superchargers in the world. Uh, each station's limited at approximately 72 kilowatt charge rate and the stalls are not shared supposedly now they are labeled a 1b and 2b sweetheart if you come outside i need you to hold the camera for a minute so one thing i am going to note right off the bat is um, the supercharging cables appear to be considerably longer maybe not considerably about twice the size of standard supercharging cables another thing i will note is you do have to pay for parking at least at this location um, let's take a look at the charge rate right now. Starting to charge. Two kilowatt, four, six, eight. And uh, just so you know, this is not my car. This is actually a Tesla loaner. And it's already dropped down to six. Oh! State of charge, my state of charge is too high. I tried running as much as I could out on the way here, but uh, yeah, our state of charge is too high. Now, um, let's take a look here. Now, the physical size of these stations, um, here, oh, you know what, sweetheart? Can you hold the camera? No problem. Just don't push the buttons. Now, the physical size of these stations is actually pretty small. They're only about four feet tall, or uh, what, three, how many meters do you think this is? Uh, now they are labeled 2A, 1A, 2A, 3A, 3B. So what I'm guessing is they used the. I'll take the camera. Thank okay. you. What I'm guessing is they used. Um, they're using standard supercharging cabinets to power power these, and then they just lock it. So each stall has the guaranteed charge rate. Now there's no supercharging power. There's no power sharing here. So each car will get up to the full supercharging rate. Now it's all behind, and this is Chicago, so it's so it's um, it's <laughs> well needed. And uh, here we go. Here's the actual. Yeah, this is these are actual regular supercharging cabinets. You got one, two, three, four, five, five cabinets. So. Each cabinet does two stalls. That would be 10 stalls. So what they did is they just locked in each cabinet uh, to provide power at a designated rate, so it will not provide over that. So there is no power sharing. You just get that straight 72 kilowatt hour or kilowatt charge rate. And uh, these are really slick looking. I like it. We got a couple Model Xs here. Um, there's some charge points over there. So they fit this in here real nice. Gotta wait for the stinker to dry past. Uh, they snuck one over here. Oh, to come in from that angle. Cool. So let's take a look at the specs on the side of these. Uh, voltage rating, 410 volts DC. Rated current, 200 amps. Um, they got uh, Tesla's number on there. Uh, oh man, that cable's tight. So these are rated at uh, 200 amps. Now there's really, there's nothing inside these, these station, these stalls. Um, basically all it is, is you got, you got the pipes coming down and uh, it goes into the cabinet and the cord goes to the car. So that's really all there is. There's no other smart electronics or anything in, in those. I mean, it's really not needed, which is great for if someone backs into one and destroys one. So we got the B's over here. Where's the A's? Let's just stall. Okay, that's one, uh, one A I was just standing on showing you guys over there. So this is really, really cool. And uh, the only downside is you do have to pay for parking on the bright side at this location. If you bring your parking stuff into the 
uh, mall office, which in this case, I th or the uh, parking office, which in this case is right over there by the entrance garage office. Um, they'll validate your ticket, so you only have to pay uh, five dollars uh, instead of the twenty dollars at this location. Uh, beautiful Model X. And I guess that's all there is to really see here. Um, it was rather hard to find. There's really no signage outside. Uh, so if you're trying to find this um, from the outside, um, but your best bet is just keep watching Plug Share. Make sure you have the Plug Share app uh, to, to find out exactly what entrance to go in. Uh, now the cords being longer is great because not everybody parks very well. So, look at that. Because it is a lower power output, they can make the cables longer without having to worry about uh, heat issues. So, not everybody parks as well, so you can still get to it, get it to the cars, even if you have to park, or if, if you get iced and you can fit into a space, uh, a regular gas car space that's next to it, you can still plug in. Um, in terms of, let's see, Retention, it's kind of like the same thing they have for the high power wall charger. And this is just a steel cabinet with some heavy duty conduit. Come into it. This is this is beautiful here. Simple and small because there's all the brains, all the brains are in these in these cabinets behind the uh, locked uh, uh, grating over there. And look at all that conduit coming out. So there's really nothing smart needs to be inside these. So if someone backs into one or destroys one, basically they just have to reconnect the wiring and put some new plastics and, and metal out. Metal cabinet, plastic front. Uh, I think this is a great addition. Now, um, there's been a lot of controversy about the limited uh, supercharging speeds if for those who have DC fast charge too much um, which would limit you down to about 94 kilowatt maximum charge rate um, even though these are slightly slower you don't get the heat buildup I already did the math your charge time would actually be pretty much identical uh, to go from 0 to 100 percent at a sustained 72 kilowatt hour because the car can remove the heat without having to reduce the charge rate as it would if you had a sustained 194 kilowatt charge rate. So even though these are slower, for those who are, who are relying or use DC fast charging more and have that, that charging limitation on their vehicle, it's really not gonna make too much of a difference. Uh, especially considering the car can maintain that solid uh, 72 pretty much until you hit about 65, 70, Actually, I think I've seen it as high as uh, about 75% on my car. Um, so that is very, very impressive. Well, I'm gonna go check out the garage office and see if I can provide any more information on the validated parking. Tesla, at this time, until we make any additional changes, is $5 for the first 45 minutes. 46 minutes to one hour is $20. And then after that is the regular posted rates. All right. Well, thank okay. you very much. You Thanks for explaining that. Okay, so that was very kind of the very nice lady in the mall or the uh, garage office uh, to explain the rates at this location. Um, they said until something changes, so it's possible that Tesla might um, uh, make some arrangements with there. But I think um, I think it's fair. The first 45 minutes uh, is five dollars. I think that's a very reasonable cost. What do you think? It's okay, Chicago. Yeah, I mean, it's for Chicago, downtown Chicago parking, that's cheap. Um, I'm not even going to try and re-explain the uh, the tariffs. I got to listen to her video a few more times because uh, it's it's definitely not cheap to park here. Um, <laughs> And uh, a lot of the spaces in this structure appear to be uh, reserved spaces um, for for people that live in the, the surrounding high rises and condos. So they're they're renting these spaces at a premium by the month. Uh, so for someone in exactly what these stations are meant for is as a urban uh, way for apartment and condo dwellers to be able to recharge their vehicle. And that's exactly what they've accomplished. Um, I think for 45 minutes, a $5 fee is extremely fair. And that also keeps away the people that are coming here just for the free power. Um, why do the acoustics sound so much better in this car than mine? It's oh, glass roof. That's why, that's why Bjorn, your videos always sound so good. 
46 minutes to one hour and they pay 20 or 25 dollars yeah well i got it on video so you guys just watch that before before this um and unfortunately just stay 45 minutes as long as, as, long as you're back out the gate within 40 and i better check my ticket oh shoot um we came in and it doesn't even Almost. say oh yeah it does say um we came in at 108 and it's 128 oh we got but we got to go pick up kids from school all the way in milwaukee so we got to get from chicago back to milwaukee through chicago traffic good thing we're driving a p90 dl with ludicrous mode i wonder what would happen if i hit the uh uh driving max battery power while i'm plugged into a supercharger i think i feel another video coming on either way let's just do one more quick little little look around from the dash of the car and a very confused person right there not akira um so in general um this is really kind of neat and this is a fantastic thing and fantastic idea that tesla has here say hi sweetheart hello there we go um and I, I I can't wait for more of these. And you know what? It was it was they did it right, uh, limiting the the speeds. Um, and uh, I just a, a, an idea uh, would be um, have uh, maybe they could do uh, three stalls per supercharging cabinet uh, and lower the speeds a little more to say um, 50 kilowatt per car. Um, and given the amperage output, I mean, 50 kilowatt per car is still really darn good. I mean, it's it's better than, um, you're, you're going to have, it's going to be better than Chatimo because we'll actually be able to get the 50 kilowatt due to the voltage battery pack voltage and amperage from the stations. Uh, but then they could do three stalls per, and it's still going to be faster than any level two. That will take a little longer to charge, but at least at the 72 uh, you're really not going to see too much of a charge difference than a supercharged limited. Oh, there's a black one from Illinois. Livery. All right, we're just looking at the charge rate on another gentleman's car here. He's at a solid uh, 74 kilowatt, and I think I've been saying 72 kilowatt charge rate at these stations, but it is in fact 74. So I'm still plugged in with my loaner. Uh, this Livery driver is plugged in. Uh, this gentleman and also this X, which looks like it's been here for a while too. Uh, we're all plugged in, A, B's, A, B's, and uh, uh, that's a 3A, that's a 3B. I'm on uh, uh, one, or 2A, and the uh, livery driver's on 2B, and uh, we're, these, these two cars for sure are still hitting the, uh, the uh, 74 kilowatt max, and uh, this, this X is still charging, I don't know what it's right at, and mine is still charging at about 35 kilowatt right now. So um, it, do, it does not appear, or it appears that we can confirm that the, uh, the, the stalls are not sharing power. So it doesn't matter who plugs in first, each stall is getting its dedicated 74 kilowatt charge rate, which is awesome.